The sage ecosystem is one of the largest and most important ecosystems in the country. It supports a large variety of species, including the greater sage grouse. Sage grouse males gather at a lek, which is where they perform their mating displays. And then the females are attracted to that, and they'll come in, mate with the males on the lek, and then go off and nest. These birds are incredible. I mean, it's really neat to see. Covering millions of square miles, the habitat of the sage grouse stretches through 11 different states. However, the population of these birds is significantly declining. There used to be 45 leks here at Clear Lake and in and around Devil's Garden, and now we're down to one. Reasons for the bird's decline are many. The sage ecosystem still is the most intact ecosystem we have in the United States, but when you think of all the things that's happening in sage habitat, you know, we've got encroachment of invasive species, you have pipelines, you have power lines, and now we're having more wind energy. All these things take habitat. The sage-grouse ecosystem stretches not only across many states, but through numerous public jurisdictions and private lands. A partnership of different entities are now working together to improve the sage-grouse habitat. We established what we call the sage-grouse initiative, which encompasses 11 uh, states, throughout the range of the greater sage-grouse. And the big question mark was, would landowners voluntarily embrace the conservation game plan here for recovery of the species? You got to keep connectivity, and you can't keep connectivity unless you can keep all the partners engaged, because it crosses every type of land ownership you can imagine. The resource doesn't know who the ownership is. It doesn't know if it's a Native American or a German or a Anybody, it knows that if you do the right thing, you can manage it well. So one of the things we did right off the bat, year one, uh, was marking fences. Because there's been a lot of mortality over the years from barbed wire fencing. You know, birds just flying into the fence because they couldn't see them. And it's a relatively low cost uh, way to provide immediate protection. And I think we did see uh, a sizable uh, improvement in terms of the reduction in mortality associated with birds. An even more significant factor in the decline of sage grouse is the encroachment of juniper trees. Junipers were historically a very, very small portion of the plant life out here because fire was allowed to go through here intermittently. We weren't allowing the fuel to build up like we do now. The juniper is a really hardy and adaptive plant and we want them to be a part of the habitat. Uh, it's just the extent of it now is starting to threaten another animal within the sage steppe ecosystem. Not only do junipers replace native habitat, the trees provide hunting platforms for raptors, which prey on the grouse. We suspect that that's resulted in the decline of the bird over time because of that perching ability. So removing that perch, we, we believe, gives the bird a fighting chance. Protecting the sage grouse and keeping it from becoming listed as a threatened or endangered species was a primary goal. I believe this was the first time U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, has ever entered into this type of agreement in advance of a listing with the principal objective is, is to uh, not list. There is no money that's set aside to keep species off the endangered species list. All the money is set aside to try to recover species once they're on the endangered species list. In addition, regulations scare people, especially private landowners. So if you can keep it out of the regulatory side, you're going to get a lot more willing partners to come out and work with you. It's just amazing that this many people can come together in order to help sustain this species and to expand its habitat. Federal Fish and Wildlife, the Forest Service, NRCS, all the local ranchers in this area right. are all working together. It's, I know, I'm, get, I'm proud to be like out I here. Said, I, I, I've only been here a year, but I like to, you know. I am optimistic. It's a slow work in progress, but I think it's headed in the right direction. The pine's coming back, the bitterbrush is coming back. The quality of the habitat for everything from cattle to macroinvertebrates has improved because of that work.
Just a few years ago, they had five males on the lek, which is not many. Usually you, ha you can have up to 100 in a healthy population. And this year was our highest lek count in 20 years, and we had 29 males on the lek. When you support that sage grouse species, a lot of other species benefit from that, uh, that are tied to the sagebrush habitat. This is a unique approach, and it takes time, obviously. It's a huge piece of geography, so it's somewhat unprecedented in that respect. But it also demonstrates how government can work better with the private sector when and we're focused and, and all in agreement on the outcome, and I, and I think we're there.